This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. If you have any questions about the instructions in this video or are not comfortable performing the installation demonstrated, contact manufacturer's customer service. Before you begin the cooktop installation, refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. For proper cooktop installation, the countertop opening should be 28 and 7 8 inches from side to side and 21 and 1 8 inches from front to back. There will need to be at least 2 and a half inches of clearance on each side of the cooktop. The electrical supply for the appliance must be 240 volts at 60 hertz. A dedicated 40 amp circuit is required. Unless you're using a duct-free filter accessory kit, the cooktop must be exhausted outdoors. Refer to the vent system charts in the installation manual to determine the size and number of vent sections and elbow joints required. No more than three 90-degree elbow joints should be used, and there should be a minimum of 18 inches of straight venting between the elbow joints. A vent cap with a backdraft damper will need to be installed over the venting on the home's exterior wall or on the roof. Caulking should be used to seal the space around the cap. Warning! Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install cooktop. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. Have an assistant help you to set the cooktop upside down on the packaging foam, keeping the control knobs clear of the packaging. Position the plenum on the cooktop base so the round opening faces the wire harness. Using a quarter inch nut driver, thread and tighten the six screws to secure the plenum. Now use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two screws securing the plenum access panel and remove the panel. Remove the four protective caps from the blower motor mounting bolts. Now align the motor on the plenum so the blower outlet faces the appropriate direction to line up with the installed venting. Slide the washers over the blower motor mounting bolts. Then thread on the locking nuts and hand tighten. Avoid fully tightening the nuts at this time. Next, connect the blower electrical connector to the cooktop. Position the cover on the burner box and secure it with the two screws. Now determine the appropriate length for the protective foam strips by aligning the strips with the front or rear edge of the cooktop, then trim the strips accordingly. Peel one of the strips from the backing to expose the adhesive, and position the strip on the bottom front lip of the cooktop, a quarter inch from the edge. Position a second strip on the rear lip. Next, determine the appropriate length for the sides of the cooktop and cut the strips accordingly. Position the two strips. Now have an assistant help you to position the cooktop in the cutout space of the countertop. Rotate the motor as necessary to align it with the vent, then attach the venting.
With the venting attached, you can now tighten the blower motor locking nuts. Replace the access cover and secure it with the screws. Install the grease filter so the top of the filter rests against the right side of the vent opening and the bottom of the filter rests against the left side of the vent chamber. Then install the vent grill. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before surfacing. Use 8-gauge copper wire. Electrically ground cooktop. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Be sure to shut off the power to the cooktop junction box before connecting the power supply line. If necessary, remove the junction box cover. Use a UL listed or CSA approved half inch diameter conduit connector to connect the flexible cable conduit from the cooktop to the junction box. If applicable, tighten the screw or screws to secure the conduit. Join the black wires together and secure them using an approved UL listed wire nut. Do the same to secure the two red wires together and the two white wires. If your junction box has a four-wire power supply line, join the green or bare grounding wire or wires to the bare grounding wire from the cooktop and secure them with a wire nut. If your power supply only has three wires, connect the grounding wire or wires along with the white wire from the cooktop to the white neutral wire in the box. With all of the wires positioned inside the junction box, replace and secure the cover. Restore power to the junction box and the cooktop should be ready for use.